front end, obviously it's, it's not going to be a huge amount of difference. Um, ATC, did you have that on your last vehicle? Uh, sorry, hang on a bit. ATC? Uh, did you have that, which is uh, recording? Yeah, it's recording, that is. That's all right. Is it? Yeah. Okay. I can't, I can't see you. Have you, have you, have uh, you haven't, I think you probably, uh, what you've done, you zoomed in. Ah. So yeah, just be careful on that button there. Oh, I see, right, yeah. don't zoom. Cool. Okay, yeah. So the ATC, have you heard of that? Um, no. Remind me, George no. mentioned something yeah, about so it. Yeah, so what the ATC is, is it uh, helps to stabilise the, the caravan if it starts to get into a bit of a wobble. Uh, like snaking, have you heard of that? Yeah. I do, yeah. I... So all it does is apply, it, it detects that movement, applies the brake slowly for a few seconds and off. That's all it does. Okay. A few seconds and off on both wheels. And then it's, it, what it does is slowing the caravan down. So. But I feel it, that if it happens. You may do, yeah. Yeah. You may do. Okay. Yeah, as well, obviously, it doesn't stop you from uh, obviously still correctly loading your van. Obviously, every, yeah, every, everything's over the axle low down. Yeah. Um, and, and will that, I don't have to do anything about that, that just No, it's totally automatic, totally right. automatic. Okay. It runs off 12 volts from your car. Yeah. So it comes through, through your power cable. Mm. Then that there is an indicator light to see what the test is. So when you connect it up, it'll do a self-test. Okay, you'll hear the brakes go on and off. You'll hear that when, obviously when we connect up. And then uh, what it will do, an indicator light will come on there. What okay. you'll normally see, what you should see is a green light, solid light. That's okay, everything tested. Obviously no, no power to it at the moment because the car's not connected. Uh, if it's flashing green, that means it hasn't quite completed its test. That will ha happen by just moving uh, about 100, 100 yards forward. Okay. okay. Red, red light, obviously problem. You can disconnect your electrics from your car, give it a few seconds to reset, and then plug it back in again. It may or may not reset. Um, if you still need to travel with it, so traveling without the system working, you can just move your car around, see if it supplies the brakes. If not, obviously you can travel with it. The system mm. won't be working, but obviously you still need someone to to, to reset it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Happy okay. So there's no other reset button or anything then. No. No. Okay. No. Okay. So obviously handbrake mm -hmm. it won't be any much different. Um, Stabilizer. Mm. I had one of them before. You might yes. have had the red handle one. I had the red handle yeah, one. Yeah, exactly the same. It's just the handle's changed. Yeah. It's and and the, the tow bar, the tow ball mustn't be greased or anything. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so no grease, no uh, paint on the tow bar. No. All right. Another another side storage pod. Same as your last, uh, same as the other side. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so this is what you'll find. So this is obviously what you'll find. Yeah. Um, obviously this is slightly different than your last van. Obviously they, they put the weight near the axle on these now, compared to uh, yours, which would probably be at the front. Yes, it was. Okay. So you got That's an onboard, reg onboard reg. Should have had an onboard regulator before. I would have thought. Not like that. Not like that, man. The, the, it's, yeah, the thing yeah, just uh, oh, the regulator on the screwed gas, into gas there. Yes. Right. So what you've, got, what you've got is a regulator attached to the caravan now. you just got what is called a pigtail which connects from the regulator to your gas. Right. Okay, if you can see that, it's got a hand wheel or hand tighten wheel. Yeah, that was the same. Yeah, yeah. that's okay, yeah. Okay. So what does a regulator do? A reg regulator, obviously, if you just open the gas bottle, you get the full pressure going through. Ah, uh, that just Obviously, yeah. it'd, it'd just be like a flamethrower inside if you had the, if you didn't yeah. have regu regulators. Regulator yeah. is to slow down the gas and slow down the pressure. Okay. So it reduces the pressure, so it's, and so, it, so your your appliances whatever can operate. And do I turn that off before I unconnect that? You can do. I, I tend to do that just to, when I'm changing gas. Yes. It's just there to keep the pressure in the system. Well, it's not there. I'll tell I. I just do do that to keep the pressure in the system. Yeah. It's there for really is for when they do the gas check. Okay. Okay. That's that's the only reason it's there for. It's not for. You should always turn that off mm. on the on the top of your gas bottle. Mm. Okay. Good. When you're traveling. That's fine. Okay. Right. What you'll find is different on this system is a heating system. So water heater. That's your vent. Underneath. Just try and think where it's there. Over over here. That's your, this is your vent for your heater. Okay. It's an underslung heater. Uh huh. If you can hear that roaring away. So that that's your your vent for that. So try make sure that is uh, clear. Oh, no. You don't obstruct it with anything. I'll press the uh, I'll press the zoom button again. That's it. Yeah, you just be careful. A lot of people do that. So that's your vent. So just be careful. You don't block that when you when you're operating your heating system. So okay. I don't have to do anything about that other than just make sure it's clean. That's clear. It, yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. And then the vent for your boiler. You may have had a cover that you took off oh, on your right. previous one. Yes. On this one, you haven't. Well, it's just have that, that's how it is. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Water in might be similar. Similar you've had previously. So water pump yeah. on the end of the pipe, which is yours. And the clever thing about this one, 
It's a different. Oh, that's cool. So that's when you go and oh, okay. go and fill your acro. Ah, excellent. You, you, so you, you, you don't have to take in. it off. It's not dragging on the floor. So you just pop that up there, and then obviously when you come back, you full acro. But otherwise, to get this in and out, yeah. obviously there's only one way it'll go. You can't get it wrong. Then the lid actually locks it in. That's okay, good. so make sure the lid's up before you pull it out. Yeah. Because you might end up pulling the lid off if you're not careful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And toilet. Toilet cassette is that similar to one you have? Same thing. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. yeah. So you've got the wheels on this one. Yeah, they have the wheels on the other. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. just the same. And then you've just got your drain for your for your flush tank, which is just on the little ledge there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. Right. Well, I think that's everything on the outside. Apart from, obviously, I need to tell you regarding the wheel nuts. Obviously, it's very important that you do check them regularly. Yes. I will check them before you leave. Okay. It's 130 newton meters. It is in your handbook. So if it's on the on the plate on these ones. How how do I um, how do I check that? If you if you haven't got a torque spanner, you just have to use the wheel nut your new wheel nut spanner just to. So a torque sure spanner with a what was a dial on it or something? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's 130 newton meters. That's the setting you need to be set at. Is that on video? Yeah. 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 Just um, the motor mover while we out here. That's exactly. Oh, that's, that's your my mover, motor mover. As far as aware, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's yeah. my mover. So you're happy on how that works. Yeah. Yeah. And the, and the hand so thing is, this is it. Ours? That's ours. Yes. That never worked very well, did it? No, it wasn't. The problem was that uh, I never. We never used this. We never no. used this. Mainly because my car hasn't got a relay thing, so I can't charge the caravan when I'm going right. along. And right. so, consequently, every time I needed to move it, um, well, the battery was flat. The, the battery was flat, yeah. on the new caravan, and this was new. No. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 it's all right. It's that's, a, if, that's, that's the thing with these. If, uh, unless you've got a good battery, mm. because your motor move is no use if it's got a, you know, your battery's not a yeah. topped up. We're changing the car, so I'll make sure. Are you, are you, is your van in storage? Uh, we no, we keep it in the field at the back of us right, with a cover get, on it. Well, you can't get power. We to can't it get power it, to no. it. No. So that's a bit of a shame. The only other option is obviously taking the battery off to charge it. Yeah. That's yeah. the only other option. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you know, if you're desperate, you need, you need that mover. It's obviously power is obviously important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Yeah, if you'd like to go in, I'll put my slippers on. What do you think? What do you think? I've got to put my slippers on. Right. Oh, what we got here? You, See, I obviously you don't need to go all the way in to start with. If you I was only joking. No, 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 I have to wear these anyway. <laughs> George, shout, George shouts at me if I don't. We ought to, um, <laughs> we ought to have some of those. <laughs> yeah, they're quite useful. A lot of people just take the carpet out, don't they? But, right, so this is your, your control panel. This is your master switch here. So that switches your 12 volt systems on and off. Right. Okay. Top so that's is 12 that. volt. Yeah, so that's your only night. Yeah. This is your control panel for your heating and your water pump. Right. Okay, switch it on. Right. Okay. If you see the things that are red, that means they're operating. Okay. So, Anything that's so, not. So they're on. Yeah. So what we've got here is your heating, water heating. That's to switch your timer on if you've got a timer set. That there is your water pump. You can see that there is like a, yeah. a pump, and that's just further settings. So if I want to switch water pump on, I'm just that's switching it off. Press it. It switches it on. It says. It's a bit funny work. Just. Oh, there we go. Right. right. So you have to feel a bit sometimes to just just to get it right. Just set your heating. There's this one here. So press on that. So with this, you've got yes. options. Okay. So one, that's to set your temperature. So it'll go up maximum of 35 degrees if you want that that hot. You've got options of 500 watts, 1000 watts. So if you had the fire before in your previous van, we did. You would have had then 500, 1000, or 2000 watts. That's right. Yeah. Or on your on your on your fire you would have just either done that or gas yeah or with this one you can actually do gas and electric right okay so if you really want some heat I don't think you feel the heat coming out of it already but that that's uh, running off 2,000 watts at the moment right and it's giving a reasonable amount of heat okay okay so those will go red if I put yeah. the gas on that's as well it, yeah. yeah I'll just put the gas on I'll also show you come on and that will automatically yeah. right. uh, ignite yeah so nice. it will auto auto ignite. Right. Okay. Well, what I want to show you is the the nice red light that uh, see this see this button here that will light up red when the gas is fired up. Ah, okay. So what it'll do it'll go, it'll take a few seconds for it to purge the air out of the system first. Yeah. And then it'll fire up. Okay. Um, what you've also got is a fan on its own. So with with the heating on, so with an energy selected, the fan will only come on when it needs to boost the temperature. Okay, there we go. So it's now yeah. fired upon gas now. Okay. 
Does okay. that? Uh, does that's only it's on only gas now. That's on gas only now. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I'll put it back to electric now. Yeah. Okay. So what you've also got is fan. So you see that's uh, gas off now. Yeah. So fan. So if you just want air, air to circulate without any heat, it's also got a frost hat as well. So that will, if you've got that switched on. So in the night, if it goes below. Below, yeah. Obviously, get near frost. I don't know if it's like 40 it degrees or something on. like that. Yeah, yeah okay. All right. So to get back to your main screen, just press the button. It gets back to your main screen. So the next one is water heating. Yeah. Press that. What you've got, or the options are 750 watts, so electric only. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, if you want to, you can boost it. So it'll do a timed boost if you wanted to. So you want extra hot water. So say you want. Oh, hang on. So you see the main supply limit you are showing us. Okay. Come on. And I just go. try right. doing those as well to make sure that I'm. Yeah. So it's just press. You just press. 750. Yeah. So I've, what I've done, if, just to explain that a little bit. Yeah. So we've got 1500 watts now. I'm going on 1500 watts of electric. Yeah. It's got. It will do it for 15 minutes now. Okay, and then, then after 50 minutes, you'll go revert back to okay. that. Okay, all right, then. So, if okay, I can just try that. So, well. if you wanted time boost, also, you could either just, just do it on gas or you could do it on a combined electric and gas. So, if I just want to, yeah, oh, okay, right. yeah, just yeah. press okay. Yeah. yeah, and if you press gas as well, it will actually okay. fire up on both. All right, so if I then just go back to that, yeah. That was just so that, that's your switching time boost okay. off. So that's yeah. just your, so that's your water standard heater. water heater. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or if you want to switch it off, or you just press off. And that's, that, that's all that's off. Your, that's your water heating off. Okay. I'll come back to here now. So you can see that now the water heating is off. Yeah. This even gives you a temperature as well, 48 degrees. Okay. All right. Um, so this one here, that is to switch time. your timers on. So to switch to set timers, you press the spanner button. So you've got room, time, room timer or water timer. Okay, so you can set it on to 500 watts. So if I press the arrow. Cool. So I put. 500 watts. So you got here. Between four and. So you can set three clock. different timers. So you can say between that and that time or that and that time. Then I get, so you can set three, three different timers. If I press the. Can I, can I just yeah. see? I'm just trying. Yeah, just put it just. Fine. I know, it's, it's just. Been, that's it, it's, it goes across in the end. It's, you see the arrow got the uh, line going across now. Cool. Just trying to get it just right. How are you doing, folks? I'm having fun oh. trying to get this to go across. <laughs> I'm pressing this here and it's not going. Oh, there we go. That's it, found it there. So you can change the times by, so by plus change, or minus. So if we say so if we didn't have it on at night, but we wanted to come on an hour before we got up, we can do that. Yeah, brilliant. That's it, yeah, that's good. Oh. Okay. So yeah, so you got a timer. So a plus or minus get you know, changes your time there. Okay, this one. This is brilliant. Well, that's a bit, uh, a bit odd. Yeah. That's going to be a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be really fit. Oh. That's it, do that. That's it. Sometimes it just goes. So you can change the energy as well by selecting the energy. Oh, come on. There you go. So off, off. Or. <laughs> Don't want to go anywhere there. There you go. Hmm. Wonder on, on that actually because it's not. I'll just go back at that again. So that's all right. Oh, we don't need too much. Of. I think if you just careful, if you're trying to press too hard, I think it doesn't like being pressed so too hard. So just touch it, do you? Yeah. Try and do. Yeah. yeah. I think if you're trying to press and just hold it, it won't do it. You have to mm. do a bit more. <laughs> I don't know who says that. Mm. Hmm. Let's get in this one. Let's pick it up. 
No, not too happy with that room. No. I have to get any. It's going to be. Yeah, it's not. I'm not. It's that bottom. It seems to like it there, does it? Oh. Ah, there we go. Is it right? You've got to put your finger right at the bottom. Yeah, it looks bottom. like it, yeah. That's better, yeah. Yeah, I think pressing the middle of the screen, it's okay. not, not happening. Right. Okay. Right, I understand that. Yeah, so we'll go back there. You can set the clock. Bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, that's room time. There we go. Oh, there's a clock. So you plus or minus. That's right. Yeah, that should be pretty close because I said yeah. it before. Yeah. Okay. And I think also options. So that's that's where it's it, when you when we tried to put um, 1500 watts on the uh, heating on on the water heating at the same time it didn't like it did it so what you've got here is um, an, op an option to stop you from overdrawing the power off your bollard so right. if you overdraw draw it yeah. obviously it was just giving you a warning do you really want to, me yeah. to go above yeah. this energy because you're like you're, you're going to trip that yeah so with that you can if you oh, that's your script oh. so plus or minus should be off of the thought on this because normally you're, si you're 16 amp aren't you on on site yeah well, that's as high as it'll go so normally 16 amp okay otherwise it, you just got you just gotta be careful like you normally done in the past if you, if you overdraw well, it you'll, we'll, you'll be tripping we the always know if we yeah. put the kettle on the full electricity and on at the same time yeah if that obviously it will, it, yeah. yeah well i tend I to I, I tend to use the, the whistling kettle i do for my for boiling water, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got that bit of extra energy for if I want to use elsewhere, like I'm heating or whatever. Okay. It's okay in the summer because most of the time you're not going to use that much energy in the summer anyway, are you? But mm. in the winter, you want if you want that extra heat. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. Happy Good. with that? I'm happy with that. Good. I can sort that out. Can I just right. tell you about? I've, I've, uh, I thought it was on music, and I pressed four, <laughs> right. thinking I'd get Radio Four, four. and no, I've, it's me probably not set I've messed for that. it all up. Oh, it's on the. Um, and I've been pressing buttons. I can work that out. Right, so that's tuner. Tuner. Yeah, it's can on. you put it on Radio 4 for me? Well, I'm not sure what Radio 4 is on, to be honest. Oh. Hang on, we'll find it. Right, band. The FM Radio 4. Do you know what, do you know what, um, do you know what it is? I don't know, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I about 90. I can, I, I can understand that. that. I can sort yeah, that out, so I don't worry. To explain to you what I've touched it. As long as you get something like that. I'll say, is that radio 4? I'm not sure. No, it doesn't. I don't know what that one Nickel is. Nickel sorts, he says. Yeah, alright. I just wondered if you know what it's about. I don't know. I don't know. That's a main thing, but it's got a CD player as well on this. And it's also got a USB port on there. Oh, radio free. We're on Radio Free now. It's got radio. Oh, close. Well, as long as I'm searching it. Radio. It's a good shop shop. It's warm in here, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Well, I, I think I, they're proving I to us that they, they, that it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's two. That's two. No, no. Where are you going now? We'll find it. That's Shropshire now. Is that about 100? No. So he's got USB, so we can yeah, bring, all, bring the whole of our music collection here. Yeah, let's get all of that. We have, uh, we have three weeks of constant music. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Well, it's on Radio 3. Radio 3 will do. If I do, I'll. I can do it, don't, don't yeah, worry about that. That's on free now. Okay, but on off button these. That one there. The top so, one? Yeah, that one. That, yeah. That's one. Okay. Okay, so it's just showing you time and. Well, even though it's the wrong time. Don't ask me how to set the time on that one. I'm not sure what that one. No, I can do it. Right. right. You, have you what? taken that out? Have you taken that out? Yes. That's right. I thought, what? I couldn't remember that being out there. What? what that's does start. That say start. There? Start, that is. So you just... Oh, right. So you just I'm do that then. Yeah. Uh, it clicks out. Yeah, it just pops out easily. Right. What's next? Um, fridge. Is that something similar you've had previously? Yes. Yeah, so it has got electronic ignition, which is that button there. That's obviously for the gas. But to control the energy is that this one here. So that's off. Yeah. So your fridge off. Electric. Which most people use, or the 12 volt, which is coming from the car, yeah. so when you're traveling, or gas. Okay, okay. to That's light the fine. gas, all you do is press and hold that, and press and hold that. I don't know if you can hear that phone that will light igniting now. If you can see in the, in the window here, green light, uh, red line's going into the green, 
as long as it stays there, that means the gas is running and fired mm -hmm. up. If I took my finger off there and it, the line went back into the white, that means it hasn't lit. Okay. So you need to press and hold it a bit longer just to, right. just to light. Okay. Understood. Otherwise, most people are on, on electric, electric, which is that one. Yeah. Obviously, t thermostat temperature-wise, obviously, is that. Obviously, that, that being the, the coldest the, setting. That's the coldest, yeah. yeah. So, okay. depends where you are and how warm it is, obviously. Okay. Are, you, are you warm enough now? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's, 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 it's very warm. Yeah. I just, uh, we do know it works. Yeah. Mm. I, I like... But I like it when it's a bit colder weather to be able to do that because yeah. in the summer it's not so good when you've got, we've, got a heating flat. In one of our caravans we had decent and it just wasn't warm the, enough. The blown air. Yeah. Oh, this is this but is a good heating is, system. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Much, it blows out. Much newer. Mm. Lovely, yeah. Oh, lovely warm, lovely warm. Right, at the front of your van is your consumer unit. Okay, right. it's all, all labelled up. Mm. Two forty across the top, obviously, with the trips. Yeah. And they're obviously. All indicated what they are. Same with the uh, fuses as well. All the fuses. Yeah, so all the 12 volt fuses are also there. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, easy to get to. Uh, but obviously, if if there's things tripping or there's fuses blowing, obviously there is an issue. So make sure you got you are, you are checking it out, not just putting a new fuse in because yeah. that might not be uh, curing the issue. It's just yeah. obviously delaying it. Mm. Obviously, your book, obviously okay. your handbook, and also all the individual items in there as well, which okay. is also your gas barbecue should be here somewhere. I saw before. Obviously, because of all the books in here, it's hiding. There we go. So that's your gas barbecue point if you use that. Yeah. Obviously, you jubilee clip your pipe to that. Okay. And then that just slots it's it on. and turns it on. Right. You're not barbecue. You're not barbecue. Really Some people have gas, little grass, gas grills. This little contraption here, it's got, I don't know if you've got a 13 pin, if you had a 13 pin on your previous van or not. The 13 pin on your socket, on your plug, which connects your car to your caravan lights. Yes. And everything else. If you don't fully twist it left before you pull that out yes it can misalign it by about that much and you can't get it back out this is the tool to realign it ah. okay you just, all you do is just push it in it'll realign oh, right. it because i've had customers who so that's the inside of the where the pins are it, yeah uh, and there's a little gap around there's a housing yeah there's an outer that, housing and that's then the it, other yeah. thing and, and it, that's it, sort it of turns line. and if you don't fully turn it left before you pull it out the car socket yeah it can just just a fraction and it won't go and back won't. in again right okay. so just make sure you are and keep it with you because i had one customer which i obviously did a handover then a week later they'd gone out then the, the rang up says we can't get the can't get the plug back in the uh, car i says have you got that you know, there's just blue i says you got that little blue contraption ah well, where, where is it at home they've left um, they took the whole pack out um, and left it at home make sure you keep that if you yeah, take this out make sure you keep this because yeah. it is yeah. Really embarrassing when you can't get that back in. Yeah. Back in yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's be on the time when you it's time to go when you can't move. Is there an alarm system? No, there's no alarm. Anything? No alarm on this this vehicle. Well, oh. um, well, I don't mind that. <laughs> no. Because again, when the alarm wasn't too, very useful for us on when we're at home, because when the battery had gone down, the alarm wouldn't work. Yeah, anyway. that's it. Drained all your battery. Anyway. And and then often it went off. The, the key fob on the, the oh no, last one. Oh, you yeah. a slight touch, and then it just yeah, set the well, alarm I, off. I've done that before now, driving down the road, and the key, it, the keys yes, are in your pocket, and it set the right. alarm off. Yes, and I'm yeah, driving along, right. and everyone's looking at me because the alarm's going off. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Obviously, the important thing is obviously your wheel lock. Wheel lock is important, more important than alarm. Alarm, people can still drive off with it. Yes, yeah. If it's got a wheel lock on, especially mm. the, especially the alcohol wheel lock, yeah. they're, not, they're not going to move with that. Well, we're, we're, we're out of sight anyway on the field behind the house. And it's uh, and, and easy to go to the church car park to get to um, it. And no, it's, it's, stop people there's another lock to base. Them. Well, and I know, yeah. Stolen. You have? Yeah, we have. Not, not from where we were, no, where no, we are now. The past, though. Yeah, so mm. obviously just make sure but it is secure. we do secure. have a lock gate as well that they... Yeah. Yes, they've got to get through. We've got to go they through a car park, through a lock gate, find it. Yeah. Find it then, and you? and no, we got a wheel lock and a hitch lock as yeah. well. Yeah, but if you've got a wheel lock on, especially mm. the Alco ones, they're really, mm. really secure. Right, right. I'll just show you inside here. Obviously, the important is where your boiler is. Right. You can see that, and the drain for your boiler. Can you see that down there? That yellow lever. See well, that? that's a lot easier to get to than yeah. the last one. Yeah. Was that right stuck uh, right at the corner right, of the front? It was right under the yeah. bedding. So everything. position it's in at the moment. That's mm -hmm. allowing water to run around the van. Right. You lift it up, same as the other one. So it's pointed upwards. That'll drain the water out underneath your van onto the floor, okay. onto the ground even. And that's oh, that's much easier. Yeah. What's the blue light flashing? Yeah, that's just to say it's operating. Okay. So it's and I don't have to. Um, when if I drain it, when I I do drain it for the winter. Yes. Then. Um, when I come to uh, use it again, I 
I put that back down into the position it's now. Yes. And then just and it will automatically fill up when I plug the water in. The water. No, no. What you have to do oh. is op what you what you should have done in the past is open the tap to hot side, hot side of your tap, and oh. get all the air out. Which all the air in here you've got ten liters of, of water. Obviously, when it's empty, it's ten liters of air. That's got to come all out through the tap before. Yeah. Before you can get any water out of it. Okay. So do you say what is it, the hot side? What do you mean? Yeah, hot side as in hot side of tap. If I just show you on the on your tap. Uh, you you probably were doing this before. Oh, you just, oh yes, you, you just, just opened the you tap. Were doing it. Oh, yeah. I see. I thought you meant to open that. No, no, no. Side, this. Right. Yes. No, obviously. Yeah. What you do is open the hot side of your tap. Yes. And then let it just drain. Yeah. yeah. So no, what what you'll be have two yeah. minutes of uh, spluttering air. Yeah. yeah. Also, I've already done that. Yeah. Oh, no, I understand that. That's some warm water now as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Good. Right. Is, uh, there, is there anything else you want me to show you? Does that? Does that? When we travel. Yeah. Does that go on there? It, do, it does. It's up to you if you want to keep it there or not. But yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, I don't know yeah. it, it may do. If you have a bit of a bump, you know, some of these road humps you're going into sites or whatever, it might just bump off. But mm. Unless you're really slamming the brakes on, it shouldn't go sliding. But it's, it's up to you how, how you want to travel with it. But I think it'll be that way around, I think. See, it's not. Yeah. Perfect, perfect fit. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to. Or is, is it, well, there's a cupboard where it can fit anyway. I don't. I don't I'm not no, sure. No, we on had this a one. cupboard no. for this before. Yeah, oh, some of them they do. Sometimes no. you can just. I think you can actually sneak it under here. If you have a look underneath there, there's a little catch. It should slide underneath. Oh, yeah. yeah. It actually doesn't on this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's it. It. Oh, yeah. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. On mine, it hasn't got that little catch. Mm. It's got a space under there, but it, when you open it, it all comes right out. Oh, good. I'm glad I asked you that. TV. You would never see that, no. TV well, aerial. How picture. do I raise the TV aerial? Yeah, so TV aerial's in the front locker there. Uh huh. Got a directional aerial. Oh, yeah. Which is yeah. Similar to one you may have had previously, I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Yeah, so all you do is loosen that off. Yeah. Then you just push that off. Is there a red dot to show? No, with this right? one, it's actually got a different type. Oh, yes. Yeah. So it says the indicator denotes the rear of the antenna. Uh huh. Okay. Well, it also indicates, if I just push that up, it also indicates, which is a pain because that always gets in the way. Yes, the elevator. Yeah, so it actually tells you if it's yeah. vertical or horizontal. Okay. Obviously on the top oh, that's of the area. Good. Which is a, more of an indicator, otherwise you're, you're sticking, trying to stick it out the window, right? Yeah, and that's you're right. Trying to see where, yeah. where it is. So that's make sure it's in the green before you pull it down and slide good. it all the way down. You've got the amplifier there. Mm -hmm. Obviously that needs to be switched on, obviously, to give you a real good chance of having a uh, signal wherever you are. Is what? there an external... Um, so on some sites, the caravan club sites, if the signal's not good, at they the have a booster, yeah. they have a, a booster. I'm not sure on this one or not. Um, normally, the, it's in the battery locker. I yeah. did see something there, but I thought it was a 12 volt. Uh, right. rather than, okay. well, we'll have a look after, but I think okay. I, I'm not sure to be to, to be honest on this one. Right, we'll have a look. All right. Um, Is there anything else you want me to show you? Obviously, there's the <laughs> light switches everywhere. Light well, switch yes. there, little tiny one. Mm. There's the one there. Yeah. The one for your kitchen is there, right? The one for above your head, so above the oh yeah, is just underneath the where the radio is, underneath that plinth there. If you look just underneath the oh radio, yeah, so that's the one yeah. above your head. Okay. Does that go? Does that go off? No, that will stay. Yeah, if you that press stays an old, on. Yeah, you should press an old search. Should. Oh, nice stop on. <laughs> some are some are more different than mine. slightly different than mine. So the other way, if you. The only other option is taking the uh, front off it. You know, if, you, if, it, if it disturbs you, the, the lights on it. I'll sort that out. Yeah, that's on a kind of a standby at the moment. Obviously, it goes off at uh, 12 So there's. So you your, there's your aerial point, aerial your 12 volt and 240 there. socket as well. Yep. Is there one at this end as well? I don't. Yeah, there's, oh, one, there's one there. There's one there. Yes, there's one there. I'm going to dress that side. Um, okay. Right. Got that. One thing yeah. I did like about the other caravan. The, t the TV just pushed up out oh, of the yeah. way. Yes. I thought that was a nice size. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, oh, yeah, you're a bit limited to what TV sizes you can have, obviously, yeah. for that. But mm. yeah, the, the, obviously, they've gone well, away from that. Is it fitting there, or do you have to put it on? Well, you, you tend to sit it. Yeah, you tend to sit it. I'll just put it there. Yeah, that'd yeah, be fine. It's on that other front here, isn't it? Mm. There's a lot of people haven't sitting at the front, but yeah, I think on mine, mine's actually on a bracket. Yeah, it's a tiny bit. And we can store the TV when it's when we. Yeah. Not using it. What's it? What was in there? So you got plenty of, plenty just, of storage. Just storage. Yeah. 
and that's just that's, that's a good thing about obviously having what you've got is an underslung heater. Obviously, you haven't got that 